hi guys so basically this today is sunday the 27th of october and again i was a very bad youtuber and basically forgot to film the intro to this video and um, so i'm filming it now and yes yeah, so um sorry i sound very very tired i'll probably look at two but we're up early because we're going to go and spend the day with my aunt and um her partner and yeah so we're just going to have a nice little cozy autumn day go for like an autumn walk or something um and yes yeah, so i thought i'd just basically introduce this video and my followers um, I don't know if you this video will be any of like I can't speak will be of any interest to you, but basically I always get requests and so does Charlie to do his horror collection video. Um, if you don't know, he basically runs like a horror page on Instagram, like a horror influencer thing. Um, and they always ask for him to do a little video, so I thought as it's getting very close to Halloween, we'll do it now. Um, so yeah, uh, if you. You don't have to watch this video, but I'd love, love, love if you could just to show some support and just give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, my videos aren't, this is like nowhere near my normal videos, but it basically was just so highly requested that, um, yeah, we just decided to do it. So, hope you enjoy. Anyone who likes horror films will like this video, you'll appreciate it. Um, Charlie basically has been collecting for a very, not a very long time, but... A longish time um and it's like pride and joy so yeah hope you enjoy and you don't get too creeped out hi guys so basically this is charlie's little um horror collection he's little. gonna run oh it's very big little. actually <laughs> all right let's start with the rz films um this one's an rz h1 mask made by horror sanctum studios i scored it on ebay mega cheap but i'm not really a fan of it i think it's quite a bad mask if i want you are like the neck all bends in, which ain't that good, and the hairline's terrible. If you want a good one, go to Fold FX or Delator, but his waiting list is very long. Next one is a Tyler Main Bust by Fold FX. So there's the face underneath, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah? It's well detailed, it's got like glass eyes and everything, and the mask is just like a regular costume bought one. Right, next up. Um, so this is an RZ. H1 mask by Swift Creation. His work's like much better now, but it looks sick anyway. To be fair, I like this mask. But eventually, it'll probably be part of a giveaway that I'll be doing. Eventually. Probably for like 25k whenever I decide to buy a new one. I want a Ford FX RZ H1. It includes like the little blood splatter down the chin, which I like. Um, I'm gonna get this one out because it looks so much better when it's not in the cabinet or it's got the hair all puffed up because I absolutely love this mask, it's such a beast. This is an RZ obviously dream sequence and the blood works, like unbelievable. This is a Ford FX is old sculpt. It does a new sculpt now which is more grey and like more accurate but I've got this one also mega cheap so you know, you can't really complain. I like this one's hair. Yeah, it's sick, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's a bit too red though, the hair, I, I must say. Yeah, it does look quite red. Oh, yeah. it's got a leaf in his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit too red, but it looks cold nonetheless. And it looks sick warm, doesn't it? So yeah, it's like my favourite one, warm. It suits me so much. And it, like, my head tattoos poke out the sides and stuff is sick. Little Myers in the corner. There he is. The old Necker Myers. I, this is from when I was a kid. I've had this for like, oh, like nearly 20 years. Yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe like 18 years. Yeah. So I don't know, it's mad, isn't it? It's arm spray though, but it's a glue in place. It's cute. Yes, he is not So he lives in there. He does live in there. I like to have figures all the way along, or it just looks weird otherwise. Yeah. All right, next up is this one I got fairly new, um, fairly recent even, from a Swift Creation again. His stuff's quite good, to be fair, I like his stuff. And I needed his, his price is really reasonable. This is only 130, so for this sort of mask, an indie mask, is pretty damn cheap, and it's absolutely a killer sculpt. But again, this looks better warm. Like, there's no real good way to display it. If you just lay it on like a, all my mannequin heads are like too big, mm. so they don't fit it. I originally wanted to put it on that, but it's too big. Yeah. That thing's like huge, and I've got a tiny head. Trickshoot Studios H1 uh, Kirk conversion done by a random guy on eBay. This was like one of the first masks I bought when I didn't have a clue about. Was it? Yeah, it's my mm. second mask I bought ever. I didn't have a clue about like screen accuracy or 
anything. The eye cuts are too far apart. <laughs> uh, the mouth is terrible. It's not bad, but like, I don't know. I'll probably sell it off at some point when I run out of room, which I already have. Right, bottom shelf is The Obsession by Sinister Studios. It's called cool Mask, it's cheap. Like, cheap-ish, like 100 ish It's a good price for a first, like, for a first, like, starting out H1 mask. Like, everyone should really have one in their collections because cause it's like an essential piece, I think. It's great. Right, here we have The Star Killer by House of Horror Pro. I recently got this mask, I got this like, two months ago. And it's such a sick mask. I love it, it's so so. And when it's on, it's got the proper castle stretch. I don't know if you can really see it, no, you can't really see it, but. I also got the Trick or Treat Studios Clown Mask, which of course is so absolutely sick as well. I absolutely love this mask. It's like a hard resin as well, not like cheapy crap plastic that I thought it was going to be. I made the little pumpkins myself, so cute, aren't they? Very hard. They are cute, aren't they? Right, next up is this bad boy, the NHK Nicholas Hardware Killer he has by his own Nick. Little yeah, he has like all the stuff. So I've got the Stray Rally card sent to me by The Horror Corner, 1978, I'll tag him. And the other one by Von Karl Prince. And obviously I've got the Mezco figure as well, which is like the best Michael Myers figure ever. Little pumpkin lights up as well, which is sick. But yeah, this mask is sick, it's proper cool. It's like a in-between H1, H2. More like an end of H1, I find it. But yeah, the hair's a little bit too blonde for me, if I'm honest, but you know, it's cool. Next up is the Tots 1978 mask, which is a cool mask, I like it. Um, I'd like to get mine rehauled by Rodney Palm. His stuff's absolutely killer. Or oh, there's a guy on Instagram called Sam Hone who's doing absolutely sick rehauls. Proper like gritty looking. So yeah, I actually like that mask though, I think it's cool. Here's my Ghost Bob that I made like last week because <laughs> I felt like I needed one in the collection. Right, where we at? Let's go up to host two. Right, here's, I have another H2 Masters downstairs on my life size Myers. But here's my H2, this is actually painted by myself, which in this lighting looks crap, but it's actually not that bad. And there we have Chia. There I am. Chia, this is the Chia Master, Ben Trainer. Because there's blonde hair. Yeah, there's blonde hair, and it looks like Chia, it's just got a general face. No, it does It's got the general features. Right, let's skip that and go to H18, one of my favourite movies, my second favourite. It's such a sick Master. It's yeah, my favourite's the original. I'm, I'll put my rank in at some point. Um, my favourite's the original, then H18, then H4, and then they kind of just dash in and out randomly. Um, probably then 2007. And obviously I've got my Laurie and Michael figure. But yeah, this is a Tots Mask rehauled by Ford FX. It was one of his early rehauls, which I personally prefer. Because, I don't know, I just not about. And obviously I've got the teeth that a good friend sent to me. Right, next up is H4. So obviously I got my, I recently got for a little Jamie Lloyd Tots clown mask, which is sick. Uh, obviously I got my Bandage Myers, which I made myself, and I've got the CGP Uncle uh, version two, which in my opinion is the best H4 mask there is. I like the Tots one, it's cool, but this thing's just unreal. Like the hair's so soft, it looks so good. One, it's such a thick latex pot as well. This thing's gonna last like forever. It's so sick. Right, next up is the Tots H5 mask. I actually read this like H5 and H6 as films, but you know, I need them in the collection. H6 has some good scenes, but H5 is just like, I don't know, a bit of a shit show. Not a massive lover of H5. Right, H6, which is just a standard Tots, and the KMB H20 mask, which everyone hates, but I can't like it, I think it's kind of creepy. I think I can't like it, it reminds me of H4. Right, and to finish off the Myers collection, we have the H20 and the HA, which are decent masks, like email Myers on the end. But yeah, and in the corner, we have my life size Billy saw up here. Do you know we picked him up? Yeah, that's funny. We picked him up from Basildon and we had to strap him into the car and everyone was staring. Just going to do you a quick like, talk through of all the figures above the cabinets. So, Which there's loads of. Yeah, we won't talk everyone, but you can pretty much yeah. see. You've yeah. got a big jack skeleton up there. Yeah, and I've got my little Blair Witch. I hate that. I feel like there's negative energy. I to get above her head and she cries. Um, so yeah, I've just got like a random bunch of little figures here, like Sabrina and stuff like that. Um, and some old head knockers that I'd line around. Um, here's my necker figures. And my Thanos collection at the top. Because, yeah. you know, Thanos is awesome. And 
Chucky's up there. Get some really old vintage Chucky dolls that I've had for years. Regan. It's my Regan bust. Always. Obviously, I've got all my Ash figures right at the front as well. Yeah. Because, you know, Ash you like is groovy. Chucky's, Michael, we've got that Hot that, Stranger Things. Yeah, that little Michael is actually my favourite figure I have. Well, that one. I love it. I think it's yeah. sick. Love everything about it. This is actually a pumpkin lip gloss from Primark. How cute. cute right? Lip gloss in it. Pretty cute. So these are my big 18 inch figures and my Living Dead dolls, which there's not that many of, but they take up so much space. And I've got a life size Tiffany and Glenn at the back, but Glenn's yeah. behind Michael. I don't think you can even see him. No. You're coming through this way, you can see him. Oh, yeah, there's Glenn. And there's the picture of me meeting Marilyn Manson as well. Yeah, that's when you met Marilyn Manson. Was it last year? year no, 2017. There you go. Yeah, it's Charlie and Marilyn Manson a couple of years Best ago. Best moment of my life ever. Yeah, that's cool. Sick. Yeah, and What's on the end is the, the cursed Lamia button from Lamia? I think it's Lamia. Is it Lamia? Yeah, Lamia. Yeah. From uh, Dragon to Hell that I bought yeah. on eBay because I thought it was sick. I think it was in a band box or something like that. But yeah, anyway, so I got the Season of the Witch mask from Tots and these two from Tots as well. They're sick mask and my friend Von Cole Prince sent me these and they're so sick. <laughs> they're such cool prints. Yeah, they're nice. Love them. I haven't really got anywhere to put them though, so they're just kind of living there for the minute. Um, I got my Strangers sack mask, which Strangers is like Strangers is the first ever horror movie that I went to cinema and saw. My aunt snuck me in when I was like fourteen, and I loved it so much. Such a sick movie. Um, next up is my Goosebumps mask. Obviously, anyone who knows me knows I love the haunted masks. It's like my favourite thing ever. It's one of my favourite masks I own. And then you got the Cardinal Cardinal Copia mask that I made before Tots released one, and the Ghoul mask that cheered on me. Yeah. And my little rat. Oh yeah, Poundland. <laughs> Good old Poundland. Got a lot of Poundland. I'm not going to open this cabinet just because... Chucky's in the way. Yeah, and Slappy. And Slappy, which I don't which like. Which Slappy. Uh, Slappy's pretty cool. cool. He's actually like a real Ventura star as well. And Coraline. My you twitchy girl. Yeah. Right, let's do this one. Right, so... I don't know if anyone on here knows about screen masks, but you have a... So this is a Fantastic Faces Fun World screen mask. It's the drooped hood one. It's such a sick mask. Like it's so old. Proper 90s, proper screen one vibe to it. I've got the voice changer that does work. Everyone always asks me to do a video, but I'm not doing one. But it does work. Not exactly like obviously the guy's voice in the film, but it works enough. Uh, here's a Fearsome Faces Fun World mask. Next up I have an Isis. I bought this green mask recently because I think it's sick and it just reminds me of the stab movies in Scream. And I have a really old Easter Unlimited Scream 4 mask that I bought when the movie came out. And there's my buck knife, which I'm not going to get out because you probably know that show on YouTube. <laughs> right, MTV Scream, uh, which is a sick mask. I always get asked where it's from. It's by some random guy in Germany on eBay. I can't remember where what his name was or anything, but it was like a really good price. I'm sure it was only like £60 or something like that. Um, next up is Julian from the movie Candy Corn, which he got axed, which was a bit of a piss take, seeing as I bought the mask first. <laughs> and the film weren't too great either, if I'm honest. Unpopular opinion, sorry. Um, in here is all my small Chucky dolls, which I own everyone ever released by, like, NECA, Mezco, anyone like that, really. I don't have any other, like, the Japanese ones, like Medicom or anything like that, but yeah. Um, yeah, I made him as so. well. Take a look at the yellow, so I know. But it was right, not too bad. Before I had a life size Chucky, I'm gonna skip CM. Next up is the aliens. Aliens were what got me into collecting. Um, actually, now saying that, first of all, the first thing I bought was like a Walking Dead pop of Negan that, and like Rick Grimes. That was the first thing that I started like properly collecting. I already had the Chucky dolls and a few Michael Myers bits, but nothing that I had like on show. And then, yeah, and then I, I fell in love with the alien films again. <laughs> and Cheer bought me a figure. And I never looked back. Nope. And then I moved on to masks, and the rest is history. And here's my pops. I don't actually collect pops really anymore. I only buy the odd few horror ones, because, I don't know, I just find them a bit, like, a bit boring. I don't know, I don't keep them in boxes, because I don't keep anything in boxes, because I think it's lame. I don't really like it. I like to actually open my stuff and, you know, let it live. You can't really see it. But down here <laughs> is my life-size alien head. Well, it's not life-size, it's like half-scale, because obviously they're absolutely wham. You get the idea. And I got my Pit Boy from Fallout, an old Xbox, and my Pennywise plush. Here's my uh, my calendar that cheered on me. It's so sick. I love this calendar. And here's all my stickers that are just sent to me from random people, really. Is the calendar still in October? Oh, it is October. Yeah, it is October. What do you mean? 
Um, Horace Davies sent me some sticker packs, which was cool, nice of him. Um, obviously, I got my boy Von Colt stuff. We got a few Mad About Horror ones. They're actually coming off the floor. Uh, ages ago, Simon L drew this really cool drawing of the Mads family, and I messaged him and asked him if I could buy some, and he sent me a bunch of stickers for free. And I ended up getting a tote bag, so that was sick. Yeah, shout out to Simon L, man. What a sick artist. But yeah, so that's pretty much the whole tour of the room. Oh, they're my face huggers as well. They're my life size face huggers, which are pretty damn cool. And yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, so my next video will be a little Halloween one, um, which will be on the day of Halloween. Normally, I do uploads Sunday and Wednesday, but I decided because Halloween's on a Thursday this year. Just wait and I'll do it that day. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to both of us. Um, and I will see you in my next video.